Hey, we're back here at Dad 2.0 2017 in La Jolla. I'm here at the fatherly.com live lounge. Uh, I think we're streaming through Facebook Live. How about that, right? We're on Facebook. How about that? Uh, I'm here with Jorge Narvaez. 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 You got Narvaez. it. Narvaez. I almost got it. Damn, first try. Jorge Narvaez, and uh, who represents um, himself as a vlogger on YouTube, and uh, I think you go by Reality Changers, right? The name of my YouTube channel is uh, Reality Changers, and it's what it is, changing reality. It came, the idea came from, uh, I was a founding member of a nonprofit here in San Diego called Reality Changers, oh, right. and it helps first generation high school students go to college. So I thought in 2011, uh, it would be a good idea to adapt that name mm -hmm. on, to my YouTube channel yeah. um, and just call it Reality Changers mm. because I think it's such a good message, you know, to, to, to so be you an can agent change of change. your own reality and you can change other people's reality. Of, yeah. of course, and I got on YouTube by accident. Oh, yeah? It was all by accident. How, I, how so? How, how do you get on YouTube by accident unless somebody else is shooting you from an angle you didn't expect? Well, I can, <laughs> let me tell you this. I didn't know about... Vlogging. I didn't know about blog. I didn't even know what. I, I didn't even know fatherly or there was even space for dads online mm -hmm. until I did this video with my daughter. I was singing with her a song called "Home" by Edward Sharp and the Magnetic sure. Zeros. Mm -hmm. This is a very innocent cover, and um, all of a sudden it went viral. And next thing you know, I'm walking over to my midterm uh, midterm test at UCSD, and I get a call. I don't know how the heck they got my number from Ellen DeGeneres' producer. What? And I'm like, what? So I pick it up and I'm, I'm freaking out and um, they want to invite me on the show to sing and uh, next thing you know the video that I posted has over a million views and at the time in 2011 that was a big deal so I didn't know what that was but I, I celebrated I was alright I got on the show and it was amazing mm. um, and then a light bulb hit and I realized you know um, I could start vlogging and I discovered the word vlogging from someone who recommended me to do it. Okay. So um, I started documenting my life on YouTube as a dad. Now are you yeah. a stay-at-home dad mainly? I am, okay. I am. At the time I was a single dad. I was oh. co-parenting with the mother of my kids. So I, I later realized that I vlogged because I was compensating for something that I didn't have when I was a kid. I wanted to make sure my kids remembered all the good memories that I had when I was, when, that I didn't get when I was a kid. Right. So I started grabbing my camera and started recording things and just little moments, very organic, simple moments. And as of this day, we have about 630,000 followers mm -hmm. and 198,000 followers on Facebook. And I'm really proud. That's a lot. I'm really proud, you know? Yeah. And so mainly on your vlogs, you're, you're, you said you uh, you talk about, what do you talk about? Social issues? You talk about? I focus on family. Family, okay. Community, mm -hmm. art, and music. So I try to use those four themes to teach my kids, my daughters and myself, the power of community, the power mm -hmm. of being a family member, and the power of art and music. So. Um, I, it's very simple, just vlog and document my life, but I can, I can get very controversial, like what's going on in our country right now, and I talk to my kids about it. Yeah. And, um, How old are your kids? 12 and 8. Oh, right, right, okay. And, and I'm not saying this because my kids are my kids, and I'm proud of them, I am, but my, if my daughter was sitting right here next to you, she could hold a conversation with you, and you'd think she was an adult. Well, it's sometimes it's about talking to kids like they're adults when, when you need to about certain yeah. things. And, and it actually helps them grow. That's really great to have that, though. It's really important. Um, and you have a connection to Fatherly. How did you stumble on Fatherly? You said it you... was yesterday. Oh, is that right? Yesterday. Somebody said it uh, on, a, on a speech. I was like, what's Fatherly? Is that a, is that a, a government program or what's something like that? What's Fatherly indeed, yes. And, what, and you found out, and you uh, it's a pretty amazing place. I love the community. I love the, the idea of being... Of having a space for dads to create dialogue, yeah. you know, because yeah. for two years when I was um, in the past, in the past five years, for two years I worked at a fatherhood program, mm -hmm. and I would um, I would administer fathers and help them with um, ex inmates and military dads to connect with their kids. So wow. I would, it was a, it was an evidence based program. So I learned how important it is for families to have strong dads. Mm -hmm. So I would even go to D.C. And, and try to lobby and try to talk to other parents and dads and politicians to, to really get dads at the forefront of, um, of funding. Because, you know, and so I just thought, why not continue to do this online, on YouTube, and raise, raise a father's voice? Yeah. So what you guys are doing is, it's incredible because 
it's rare, you yeah. know? Yeah. When I found out about Dad 2.0 was last year. Yeah, and then it's coming to your hometown. And then it came <laughs> to my hometown, and I was like, what? So I emailed Doug, because I found out it was sold out, right. and I applied for the scholarship. And I, I got in, I was happy, I was like, and my wife was excited, because I found a niche, I found my space. I was like, yes, a bunch of excited dads yeah. that just want to change the world. Yeah, fatherly.com and Dad 2.0 and other places like it are really bringing fathers together in a way that's kind of unprecedented. And uh, it's, I'm glad to have you part of the community, man. I'm glad you're here. First year. You enjoying it so far? It's, it's so inspirational. Excellent. So many good speakers. Doug is a great guy. Yeah, Doug is a great guy. Do you hear that, everybody? Doug's a great guy. John, he's okay, too. But Doug is great. And... <laughs> Thank you very much, Jorge. Um, where can people find your stuff again? Let's make sure people know where it is. You can find me on YouTube as Reality Changers, Instagram and Twitter and Facebook also as Reality Changers. And yeah. That's, that's where you find it. Go find Reality Changers and change your own reality and change everybody else's reality too. That's right. Really nice to meet you, man. Thank you. Sign our, sign our lovely poster here and we'll be back with Mad, D Mad More Dad 2.0. I think it's time for more coffee. Momentarily. <laughs>